Hey everybody, appreciate you joining me again. This old T-Roy here. We're cooking out back tonight. We got another tri-tip and we're gonna cook it on this gas grill back here behind me. And uh, the ingredients are really, really simple. Let's show you what I'm throwing on this tri-tip. All right, gang. Got a little cayenne pepper I'm gonna throw in there. I'm not putting anything on this uh, as far as oil or wish to share anything. I'm just leaving it the way it is, but cayenne pepper. And I got some of this uh, Uncle Chris's gourmet steak season we're gonna throw on there. And this stuff's pretty good. I'm hoping y'all can get this up north. Uh, I know the company's out of San Antonio, but if you can't get this, just use whatever kind of steak seasoning you want. Uh, salt and pepper even work on this. Um, this, ha this has a bunch of stuff in it though. It's got your garlic, your salt, your pepper, a uh, little lemon in there. Um, got some um, green bell peppers chopped up and dried in there. Onion. Even got a little butter flavor in there. Anyway. It's pretty good stuff. We like it down here in Texas. All right, so we're gonna coat this puppy down. And this is about a three pound tri-tip. Okay, and we're gonna hit it with a little bit of cayenne. Got all this kind of rubbed in real good there. All right, and we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna do the other side. And I'm gonna fire up the grill. Once the grill's up to temp, we'll meet you right back. All right, guys, I'm well done. I've got this side fully on. This side, I warmed it up just to clean it a little bit and I turned this side off. Um, I've got some, uh, some grapeseed oil here. Just going to clean my grapes here. Just brush a little bit of oil on there. Alright, got my nice tri-tip. See it right here. And what I thought I would do is put the fat side down and sear that puppy get some marks on it and then um, do each side like that and then I'll put it over here without fire and just kind of let it indirectly cook the rest of the way. Alright guys we've been going about six minutes total on that side and I did rotate it 90 degrees in between uh, after about three minutes. Flip this bad boy over. There we go. Got a nice hash marks on there. And again my grill is still screaming hot. We're going to do the same on this side. Go about three minutes, turn it 90 degrees, go about three more minutes. And then we're going to put it over here on the cool side. Let it cook in direct the rest of the way. Alright gang, it's been about six minutes on this side now. Come on T-Boy, put that bad boy up and see the look like. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let me get some tight zoomage on that baby. Yes sirree. That's what I'm talking about. My gosh. Alright, now what we're going to do. I'm going to kind of straighten this puppy out and again fat side down. In fact, I'm going to move it over a little bit more. This is off on this side. The gas is off over here. I've got a burner here and I've got a burner here. And this side we're going to leave on about a medium high. I'm going to close the lid and we're just going to cook that puppy until she's done. Um, again, I'm shooting for about 120, 125 Fahrenheit internal. Welcome back folks. It's been about an hour and a half and I did flip this couple of times during the cook. Golly, that sure does look good. Um, anyway, I've checked it and the internal temp is about 120 and 125 depending on where I'm putting the probe. So we're just going to take this puppy off. We're going to wrap it in some aluminum foil and we're going to let it rest for uh, probably 20-30 minutes and uh, we'll meet y'all back here when I'm cutting it open. Alright folks, let's check this out. And uh, it has been over half hour. It's probably been close to an hour. Karen and I decided we were going to take a little dip in the pool. But still, this should, should be pretty doggone good. Let's check it out. Mm-hmm. You can see that juice right there. We are back. Let's check this out. Let's cut us a little slice off here. See what it's looking like. Oh, my gosh. Check that out. That's heavenly right there, man. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Pure awesome. Love me some of this here. Steak. Let's check it out. Doesn't that look good? Nice. Boy, it's still warm too, even after an hour. Very, very nice. Let's give this a taste. Alright guys, here we go. Check it out. A nice medium. This turned out fantastic. Look, just like brisket, man. Mmm. That Uncle Chris's. That's some good stuff. And beef loves cayenne, so I got this hint from Russ over at Smoky Ribs. 
Throw your little cayenne on your steaks, guys. That's really good. Really, really good. Anyway, hope y'all give this a try. If you got try tip in your area, give it a shot. It's really good. It's really easy to cook. Y'all saw me doing on my gas grill. It's great on charcoal. Uh, it's great smoked. Give it a shot. Hope you do. If you do, let me know. And I uh, appreciate everybody joining me. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Be sure and share the video. And uh, sub if you're not a sub yet. Yeah, it's hot out here. And um, hey, tell all your friends. T-Roy cooks responsibly. <laughs> we'll see y'all next time. <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs>